What's going on YouTube Champer Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review and today I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 07 Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Now this is my custom painted version. Uh, I do have a video of this guy up on my channel before I custom painted it so you've, if you want to check that out uh, link will be in the description box below. So uh, yeah this is my custom painted ROTF Prime from Studio Series and this was a really good mold. Um, it really was. It was a really good starting mold, and they would build off of that mold to make the two other Studio Series movie verse Optimus Primes, uh, you know, the one from 2007, then the Dark of the Moon version. And, you know, I really like this figure, but a main gripe that I had originally with this figure was definitely the paint. The paint budget, I really don't know where that went to, because as you can see here, if you own this mold, you'll see the differences right away. Taking a look at the figure here in truck mode, you can see the biggest thing that I've added on is the gold and the blue metallic flames here on the front. You can see that I've painted on the gold. I had to paint over the original flames and add the gold metallic paint and then paint on the blue flames, which is a sapphire um, metallic sapphire color, which I really do like. Um, the grill here, I've actually custom painted a good bit as well. Um, if you take a close look, you can see that the headlights are painted silver. I've painted black for the filter on the grill as well. And then I've painted the Autobot insignia red as well. And that all has turned out really, really nicely. I like how the grill looks. And it just helps make it pop just that much more. So you can get a good look at that. I really like how that turned out. Oh my gosh, my hands are so shaky. I apologize. So, there you have that. Coming around here to the side here. You can see I painted the hubcap silver as well because that was one big issue I had with the original paint job as well is that these were all black before and they looked awful as compared to what they could look like. And then I've painted the gas tank here silver and I painted a little bit of blue there where the hinge was because the hinge was this uh, red color that they chose for the rest of the figure and then I painted the stairs. Um, smoke sacks were already silver so I didn't have to bother that. Uh, back here I have painted... Uh, this back section here and the trailer hitch trailer hitch which become his feet in robot mode So I mean overall the figure's been really really well sculpted and everything It just didn't have the paint to help make some of the details and whatnot pop And just for a quick size comparison. I'm not gonna you know go on forever about this, but here we have Studio series ROTF Starscream and F-22 Raptor. I really like that jet mode so, there you have that, and because this is an awesome figure, RTF Studio Series Grindor, so we can see how these two scale side by side. If you want to check out my review on Grindor, which I highly recommend you do, this is a great figure. Link will be in the description below as well. So, yeah, um, Prime in his truck mode looks really good. There's no changes to the transformation. I haven't altered the figure Structurally, I've only altered the paint, so um, let's go ahead and get him into his robot mode. And here we have my custom painted Studio Series ROTF Prime in his robot mode. And it shows all the silver and stuff that I've added. It shows how much better looking this figure could have been than what they left it as. Now, where you see a lot of the silver, you would normally see a lot of gray plastic and whatnot. Again, I have a video review of this guy on my channel before I custom painted it. If you want to check that out, it will be in the description box below. But starting here at the feet here, you can see, you know, I've painted the feet silver and whatnot. Um, looks really good. On the inside of his legs, I've painted some silver details. The springs I've painted silver and whatnot. Uh, thighs I've painted silver as well. Added some silver paint. Uh, the blue was already there, so I didn't add that myself, but I've painted the thighs and everything. And the waist piece, I've painted silver and added some gold. And I added a little bit of silver there on the stomach, but I wanted to leave some of that gunmetal color. And I also left the gunmetal, uh, metallic gunmetal paint here on the shin as well because I wanted that uh, coloration differencing. Um, so I painted that. Um, the stomach, uh, uh, again, I left it that um, same gunmetal color. And then the windshield wipers here on his chest, I've painted black uh, just to help break up the detailing there because they did not paint that. So um, painted the windshield wipers. The head sculpt I have not altered in any way, shape, or form. Um, so no paint on the head or anything because, again, I wanted to leave that gunmetal to break up the different um, shades of silver and whatnot. Uh, arms I've painted silver as well. 
And you can see I've also added the blue and the red, and then I've added the silver for the hands. On the um, inner arm piece here, you can see that I have added some gold as well. So overall, the paint really does show what this figure could have looked like had they actually gone the actual mile to paint it properly. And I mean, it wasn't a bad painted figure prior to this paint job. I just think it looks a lot better custom painted and whatnot. In the back, um, the back remains the same. Still has all the kibble and whatnot, but you know, with the painted gas tanks and whatnot um, that I did from vehicle mode. So, you know, really good looking figure. Um, now I've got them all painted up. I really do like the paint job for this guy, but setting him here to the side, let's bring in some size comparisons. Here is ROTF Studio Series. Starscream to see how these two look side by side and we can see that Starscream is a significant bit bigger about a head taller than Prime so you can see that get him angled a little bit better so there you have that and here is ROTF Studio Series Leader Class Grind Door so you can see how these two scale side by side and they look pretty good together in my opinion and so there you have that he can still hold his uh energon swords that he comes with um i didn't alter these anyway um paint wise um i haven't messed with them because i really like how they look i think the gunmetal works really well for them um they just peg into his hand like normal um so there you got that. And you can see that the gold and the blue flames from the hood of the truck mode carry over to the robot mode. And it really does help the look, in my opinion. Looks really, really good. So overall, I'm really happy with this custom painted figure. Um, I do have a, a couple other custom painted figures in my collection. Uh, I did Galvatron from AOE, that Voyager class figure, which didn't have a lick of paint on them overall. Uh, I have the um, Transformers of Last Night. Uh, Voyager class Optimus Prime that I've custom painted as well. So uh, yeah, if you want to see any more custom painted figures by me, let me know down in the comment section below and I will give it a review. But other than that, guys, I just wanted to review this figure because I think um, the overall paint scheme definitely does improve the aesthetic of this figure. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.